Hey, how's everybody doing today? Uh, Clint, the audio guy here. I just wanted to show you a new product we got in to extend for demo. Um, and here they are. Um, if you know me, you know I'm a totem fan. And uh, we just got in their new flagship, or newest flagship, the uh, Element Metal Version 2. So that uses two 7-inch drivers. This is the... Uh, the top uh, version of their torrent driver. We've got one of the four inch torrent drivers here and it's just an absolutely overbuilt monster of a driver. They build these in house, um, super heavy, um, but this is the driver that allows their tribe series to perform so well. And of course their uh, tribe tower here. Um, if, the, if the metal is out of your price range, uh, take a look at the tribe. Uh, tower also an awesome performer but uh, this uh, speaker has no parallel surfaces so you can see every surface is at an angle to the other ones uh, so there can be no standing waves inside the cabinet which would color the sound coming out of the drivers uh, the seriously overbuilt uh, woofers here have a very low free air resonance they also um, since they are so robust, they can get full range signal sent to them and they don't need a crossover. Uh, so the woofers, they do not, the audio signal does not pass through a crossover on the way to the woofers. They only put uh, a filter on the tweeter to filter the bass out of the tweeter because the tweeter would blow otherwise. And I'm sure it's an extremely high quality um, and expensive capacitor that they put on the tweeter too to... Uh, Get the best possible sound out of them. Uh, it is using uh, one of their claw feet here and uh, aluminum feet in the back. Um, it has the WBT uh, binding posts. These are basically the best binding posts in the world, I think, as far as speakers go. Um, you've got a machined aluminum back plate. They are 4 ohm, and you've got machined aluminum port tubes here. Different sizes, too, so I've got to imagine that they're tuning them to slightly different frequencies to even out the bass response. Um, the bass is one thing that these do incredibly well so far. Um, I've only got maybe 20 hours on them or so right now because I'm breaking them in. They say they change pretty dramatically by 250 hours, but it's a pretty lengthy break-in process where the drivers reach optimal compliance and then they're they're going to start moving like they're supposed to but you need pretty good uh pretty good volume of playback to get them moving and uh 250 hours of it so um i'm all for breaking it in while i'm listening to them i'm not i'm not one to put a speaker in a closet and crank it up uh and just <laughs> wait a week um because you're going to enjoy it while you're breaking it in anyway uh, they do sound good out of the box uh, i actually expected them to be a bit clinical because i have heard some pretty substantial changes in break-ins before and um, i thought this speaker being so high resolution and knowing the that the break-in does take so long the um i thought they would be a bit dry and etched but they're not uh, they're perfectly great sounding out of the box uh, they say they've improved the soundstage depth. Uh, they say twofold, so they, they're they're saying twice as deep sounding. Of course, I think this is subjective, but um, as the previous generation uh, with the silver drivers, uh, the version two now has the uh, anodized black drivers. So anyway, we have these here. I'm going to keep breaking them in. Uh, I've got them hooked up at the moment on a Parasound P6 preamp and uh, going to their uh, a21 plus uh, this speaker is a 4 ohm speaker by the way uh, bass response down to 26 hertz so they'll go deep and uh, one strength about these that i notice immediately is dynamics and uh, bass definition uh, it's a totem speaker with pretty big dynamics and a very uh, immediate fast bass um, so that's one thing that's uh that I think you'll be impressed by. Um, the, uh, and of course, the, the famous totem sound staging, the holographic imaging, and you, you, know, you close your eyes and picture yourself there, that kind of thing. Um, 
the uh, the amp we're powering with A21 Plus on a four ohm speaker. This puts out 500 watts per channel. Absolutely plenty of power. Uh, Totem recommends between 50 and 300 watts of power. I'm always a more power kind of guy. Doesn't mean I want to turn it up louder. I just like the sound of speakers when there's power in reserve, let's say. So anyway, that's, that's what we got. Um, feel free to stop by and check them out. I'd love to play them for you. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good one.